everyone, welcome to another haul slash unboxing video. I will open everything, um, show you what are the art supplies that I've ordered this month and then later we will do swatching of the products. So this was a big surprise because I actually ordered it yesterday and it turned up this morning like it was just a miracle you know <laughs> I was not expecting it for a good couple of days maybe at least a day or two you know that's still very fast um, so I'm just impressed with Jackson's um, I didn't have to pay too much for this delivery I think like two pounds fifty and we just post it out some days it's like super super fast um, compared to other stores, which actually I did another like art haul at another shop because I couldn't get Molotov markers um, at Jackson's. They were out of a lot of colors and just, I don't know, it didn't, didn't work out. So I had to look at externally for the Molotov markers and I used this other shop which I'll tell you in that haul. And um, it ended up costing me double that. So I think I paid about four, four pounds 50, something like that. And it was going to be a whole week. So I ordered it on a Monday and it's going to arrive on a Monday. So, oh, it's gone quite dark. So yeah, Jackson's just gives you this amazing service. So I had to just mention this again. Okay, so let's have a look inside, although I ordered it yesterday because I have been looking at the other website as well. Uh, all I remember is that I had purchased some pencils and a couple of other bits and bobs. So these probably will be the pencils. Oh yeah, I'm super excited about the pencils, the the color palette. Um, I'm not excited about taking off the stickers of the Holbein pencils, although I just noticed this one is a new sticker. Let's see if that's anyhow different, this mini one. Usually they have, oh good, so we have three of the new stickers and two of the usual stickers. These are the nightmare ones. Um, so I will feed back on that. Oh, four actually. Okay, so I have ordered, let's just look at this color palette, uh, beautiful lipstick colors. And these are the colors I didn't have um, in my 50, what is it called? 50 pastel um, big set uh, from Holbein. They didn't have this pink included, although it's quite pastel. So I decided to add it. So it's just uh, says pink here it's called pink and then the other colors are more deep and darker and I wanted to try out this red which is called signal red so I think it's going to be quite sort of you know powerful red lipstick color and I have another red which I absolutely love is this one here the scarlet um, color by luminance and I wanted to compare them I really love the Holbein pencils for lip uh, illustrations or illustrations uh, of girl faces and then to put the lipstick on because they, once you start burnishing with them, they become this sort of beautiful, um, almost like a, yeah, like a true lipstick type of texture, which, which is quite nice. Um, so that's that. And then also one of the colors I was actually after for a little while and we'll talk about that when I do the swatches. The These two colors, um, <clears throat> the Luminous Lemon, I wanted, I'm currently into, I'll show you quickly here on my desk. I love this color as an accent. So this is Leaf Green by Michelle Mission Gold as a watercolor. And then I have here uh, the Cadmium Yellow Lemon by Hol um, not Holbein, Polychromos. It's uh, 
you can see it's slightly more greener so this one is almost like a neon color but it's not neon they actually have um, neon colors as well the Holbein pencil so I love this color as a little pop and I tried to think what has started or reignited this sort of um, trend for me because I used to be into this pink, hot pink and neon color uh, combo. Actually I realized not so long ago I did an illustration. I'll try to find it. So here I have used that uh, polychromous cadmium yellow lemon that I just showed you and it works so well with the pinks especially the blue toned or the cool toned pinks and then in this illustration same thing just as a little accent um, I don't want this color to be dominant or you know quite sort of strong but it works so well with the turquoises and the pinks and it's just gorgeous it works actually also with um, with more neutral um, color schemes as well so if you look here um, that's sort of like a burnt uh, sienna color and then some of these lemon yellows um, with a bit of pink as well so I really really like this um, bit of a color pop okay so these are the pencils let's move on to I'm enjoying my coffee and actually um, I watched mm, catnip um, video and she showed that bottom um, milk frother and I went immediately and bought it because you put milk in there and it has to be like a non-fat milk so plant-based is better the ones that I've tried so far soy milk works the best and you just put um, some of the milk you heat it up in the microwave then you get it out and you start um, kind of you know frothing it up uh, in that jug and it creates this beautiful latte kind of froth and it's so good I started drinking my coffees that way because I don't actually like the strong coffee so I put a little bit of coffee a uh, very light coffee um, mixture <laughs> drink into the cup and then the rest is the frothed up milk and I know not everyone loves it uh, but I just started enjoying it so much especially now that the days are getting colder <clears throat> so this was something I actually thought I should buy by now this is a um, like a brush a cleanser and it's by Speedball and it's called Pink Soap. It says here brush cleaner something Natoya your <laughs> I don't know what that is. What is that? Is that another language? I have no idea. Um, oh, I can see my postman. He might be ringing soon at the doorbell. Yeah, so basically here we go the soap and yeah, I since I started using um, acrylic gouache and I'm using more of the acrylic inks and also acrylic paints those are the paints especially with the acrylic gouache I find that it's quite difficult to rinse off the brush just in a jug of water and that it requires quite a bit more so usually I just tend to, tend to take it to the bathroom next door and use just hand soap but really it'd be good to use a proper soap for brushes so that's why I got this one I will feed back how I get on with it I haven't really heard any reviews or anyone mentioning it it just popped up you know when you shopping on Jackson sometimes they suggest certain products to you and it popped up on there and I thought well why not it's only like three pounds or something so not expensive it's quite affordable I'd imagine that bottle would last you forever. Okay, what are these? Oh yeah, FW. And this one is... Look, look, can you see the trend? <laughs> so excited about this color. So, I have ordered a white because I realized I actually don't have um, acrylic ink in white which is just very 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 useful whatever color you have you can turn it into different um, you know pastel um, opacities and tones and it just becomes so so pretty and this is a lemon yellow again in line with 
all of these colors um, they will be slightly different oh I haven't mentioned to you this this pencil this is the luminance in olive yellow so I think again shout, shout out to Natasha she has uh, show this pencil in her last haul and I thought how was it possible I didn't pay attention to it because I already had this color in the um, uh, Caran d'Ache Museum Aquarelle and it's quite a neat um, sort of like a yellowish green uh, but the light light yellowish green color and from her swatches this pencil looks so beautiful so I thought I have to add it as well Okay, then we have some a few boxes remaining here. Let's have a look what's inside. Oh, I am excited about these. So I ordered a couple more colors of the uh, Winsor & Newton designer gouache and again linden green. So that's going to be that sort of similar color. Wouldn't it be fun if I just uh, switched out all of these colors in different mediums like the color which is quite similar but in different mediums. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. It's such a neat color. Um, I haven't tried mixing much with it, although having said that, it mixes quite well with neutral, um, like, um, oh, this actually was, I think this was burnt umber, the FW ink. Let me see from the previous haul. What is this? Yes, burnt umber. So burnt umber mixes quite well with this um, yellowy green color as well as the other one, the antelope brown. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's neat and useful for mixing those colors. I discovered haven't tried mixing it with other colors, but it's very beautiful just as it is, out of the tube or out of the pencil, uh, next to. A variety of colors. So here we have the gold ochre, alizarin crimson and linden green. Can't wait to swatch this out. I mean designer gouache by Winsor & Newton. It is amazing. <clears throat> oh, one more. And this one is the raw sienna. So that looked quite interesting. It's like um tan leather type of color. It reminds me of this classic, you know, uh, leather color that you'd get bags or shoes in uh, in the 90s. I don't know what it is about it, but <laughs> it's just this reminding me. And then finally, I actually don't remember what this could be, let's see. Oh yeah, acrylic gouache. So I've got two more colors of the acrylic gouache. And I got the pale peach and the raw sienna. And um, so I think this one is more yellow, like more orangey, warmer than this tone. And I will be swatching all of those out for you. So that's the unboxing part and I will see you in a minute in the swatching part.